there are no words to express our feelings of sympathy and grief towards the families of the victims and to the Norwegian people. Anyway, even the best words would not be enough to console or wipe the tears away from the faces of families and friends. I'm here to express the solidarity on behalf of the men and women of the 27 member states of the European Union. Some of them have also suffered from terrorist attacks, meaningless violence and killings. Therefore, we all understand and empathize all the more with the feelings of all Norwegians. I came with this simple message to Jutoya and to Oslo. The acts of violence committed here are to be condemned in the strongest way. No cause or grievance can justify indiscriminate violence against civilians and loss of human lives. The EU stands together with Norway and with all Norwegians. We will intensify our efforts to tackle international terrorism. Norway and the European Union will continue their close cooperation in the United Nations and other international fora in this respect. Prime Minister Stoltenberg and I used our meeting today also for discussing the current financial situation in Europe and globally. But let me reiterate that my main purpose at our meeting has been to transmit my condolences and sympathy to the families and friends of the victims, to the Norwegian authorities and to the people of Norway over the tragic events of the 22nd of July, which were a shock to all of us. I did this to the Norwegian Prime Minister, whose words and acts in the last weeks have faithfully expressed the dignity of the Norwegian people.